y'all it's Nisha and welcome to another video we are continuing our favorite series I already have my favorite cleansers and pre-poos uploaded for y'all so I'll definitely have that linked above if you it's over here <laughs> I always do that linked above if you have not checked it out but in today's video we are going to get into my favorite conditioners and deep conditioners but of course, as always, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. I post new videos twice a week, but special treat, y'all gonna get three videos this week. But of course, if you're subscribed, you done hit that notification bell, then you won't miss any of these uploads, any of these favorite videos. And let's just go ahead and get started with these favorites. Okay, y'all, so I actually did a favorite conditioners and deep conditioners video in February of 2019. I'll go ahead and have that linked right here. I got it right this time, y'all. Um, I'll go ahead and have it linked right here. Just for comparison reasons, there's some products that are still in here that were in that video and there's some new products in here. So just for reference, but let's just go ahead and get started with regular conditioners. I don't use too many regular conditioners because to me, I just feel like it's an added unnecessary step and my wash day already takes a long time. So I'm not trying to add no extra steps unless I have to. But first is this big daddy right here, which is the Giovanni's a Deeper Moisture Conditioner. And I actually usually get this big, how many? 33.8 fluid ounces from either Marshalls or TJ Maxx for only $12.99. You cannot beat that. As you can see, this is definitely one of my favorites because it is down to here. And what I like to use this conditioner as is actually as a pre-poo. It has tons of slip, tons of moisture. It does have a little bit of protein for you, those of you who are protein sensitive. Um, just to let you know, but I enjoy this as a pre-poo. I'm able to detangle my hair, whether it is in a old wash and go, an old twist out, an old braid out. This definitely just does the job. Um, in my previous video, I mentioned the Just For Me um, and the African Pride pre-poos, and this definitely doesn't have as much slip as those. But if you're into more like creamy conditioners to pre-poo your hair with, then I definitely suggest this. This is definitely one of my favorites. I've gotten through countless bottles of these, the big ones, and love it. Next is from Curls Dynasty, and this is the Give Me Slip Conditioner and y'all. The name says it all. <sighs> y'all have heard me talk about this on my channel plenty of times before. And this probably has the most slip of a conditioner that I've ever experienced, like ever in life. It has so much slip. I was literally wowed when I first applied this into my hair, when I reviewed these products from Curls Dynasty. Just amazing. You were able to just detangle your hair with ease. I feel like my I don't get as much shedded hair with this also because it just has so much slip, it has so much moisture, it has amazing ingredients. I love that Curls Dynasty products are based in aloe vera juice um, rather than water because my hair loves aloe vera juice. This, it, it just has so much slip, so much slip. I know I keep saying that, but it does, and it's absolutely one of my favorites. Okay, so moving right along into deep conditioners, we are first going to, of course, talk about the Miche Beauty Indulge Moisturizing Deep Conditioner, y'all. This thing is amazing. I have to say this is my absolute favorite deep conditioner. Absolute favorite. Y'all heard me say it is my absolute favorite deep conditioner. This has so much moisture. It softens my hair amazingly. It doesn't have the greatest amount of slip, but you're able to distribute it throughout your hair. Y'all, I love this so much. And I knew this was amazing when I was using another deep conditioner that I love. It was It's the TGIN Honey Miracle. I used that and my hair used it up. And then I was like, okay, I'll go in with this on the other side. 
And when I tell you that I could absolutely positively tell a difference between the two sides when I rinse it out, this side was the winner. It was the absolute winner. I have so many of these in my stash. I have gone through so many of these. If you have not tried this, I know many of you have. If you have not gotten your hands on me Beauty, what are you waiting for? And if you gonna pick up anything, definitely pick up this product. So moving into an oldie, but a goodie. As far as the brand goes, the main choice has been one of my favorite brands especially when it comes to deep conditioners. They're some of the first deep conditioners that I fell in love with. And in particular, I love um, this one from the Exotic Kool-Aid line, and it is the Fresh Mango and Passion Fruit Mask. And even though this is only eight ounces, it lasts me a really long time. Because typically eight ounces don't do much for me but I can get four or five uses just out of this eight ounces. And what I enjoy doing with this one is really warming and rubbing it into my hand. And it helps to distribute the deep conditioner evenly throughout my hair. It feels so good. It smells so good as well. Oh, it smells so good. And it's one of those super duper thick products. Like it's not going anywhere. But like I said, once you rub it into your hands, it really does melt and then you're able to spread it throughout your hair. I love this. We'll continue to repurchase this. Try this out if you haven't. Like this really is one of my favorites from the main choice. And then another favorite from the main choice is actually from the Tropical Moringa line. And y'all, this line smells so good but it is the Sweet Oil and Honey Endless Moisture Mask. It looks like this, and it's also eight ounces, but this one does last me a good little bit, and this deep conditioner is known for its moisture. Like, I have so much moisture when I put this into my hair. Um, I don't think it has like the greatest amount of slip, but it has enough for you to, to distribute it throughout your hair. It's also pretty thick too, Okay, it's thick, it's thick. I thought it was about to come out. But yes, y'all, I love this. And the smell is amazing. I love it, I love it so much. Next is a product that I actually don't have currently in my stash because I just finished it and I'm waiting on my re-up to come in the mail and that is by Unicurl. It is the Element and Silkening Deep Conditioner. I love that stuff love it so much first off it smells so good it has that minty and sweet fragrance going on it has aloe it has mint it has a bunch of great ingredients it is very silkening and it actually has a lot of slip it's kind of on the thicker side of products but it definitely has amazing slip in my opinion and it just adds so much moisture into my hair it does have a little bit of protein so if you are protein sensitive um you may want to watch out for that but the protein is kind of um it's not in like the first 10 ingredients of the product so in my opinion it's not like a super strengthening deep conditioner you definitely do feel like your hair is stronger but you feel like your hair is moisturized it's just amazing okay so moving right along in 2019 i also discovered this deep conditioner and it's by bask and bloom essentials and it's the brahmi root hair mask and this is my first little, I guess, dipping my toe in Ayurvedic, Ayurvedic products, which is really rich in different herbs and different plant-based ingredients. Y'all, this stuff is so good. I kept hearing things about how it's very restoring and strengthening. And so that's what I expected when I first used this product. But yes, it is restoring and strengthening because it does have some protein in it. But y'all, it made my hair feel so soft. And I was surprised because y'all wasn't letting this sister know. Y'all wasn't letting this sister know. Y'all said it was strengthening. And yes, I know it reacts differently on people's hair. So maybe it is more strengthening to other people. But on my hair, I did feel the strength, but I felt the moisture. Absolutely felt the moisture. It's 12 ounces, which I love. Y'all know I love big bottles of deep conditioner because I go through deep conditioner like I'm drinking water. My hair soaks it up. My hair is super thick. So I need lots of product in order to make sure all my strands are covered. 
y'all. I love this. Definitely try this out, especially if you're not into DIYs, but you want to do or get more into Ayurvedic products. Here's one already made for you. My next favorite deep conditioner is by Azure Beauty. I don't know if y'all can see this because my light is super bright. There you go. And this is the Bio Mint Deep Conditioning Treatment with a Baobab Winter Mint and Spearmint Oils. Y'all, y'all been telling me for the longest, try Adro Beauty, try Adro Beauty, try Adro Beauty. And you know what? I tried Adro Beauty and y'all were right. This stuff is amazing. I am actually almost out of this. I have a little corner. Y'all can't see this. But I have a little corner and I have a backup yes i do have a backup of this in my stash it also has a little bit of protein in it but i wouldn't necessarily consider this a protein deep conditioner i do feel that my hair is strong after i use it but my hair is super moisturized it smells good y'all like typically i'm not a fan of like straight up mint smells but something about these agile beauty products and the way they smell it just smells so good it is that perfect in my opinion the perfect consistency it's not too thick but it's not too light it's just right it just soaks into your hair especially if you're a little frosty and you add a little heat to your hair this soaks right into your hair and when you rinse out your hair your hair is so moisturized it's so soft it just feels so good love this and once I run out of, because I think I have the eight ounces, once I run out of the eight ounces, I'm definitely picking up the 16 ounces because it is just that good. All right, so the next products are actually from TGIN and I just have one to represent two because basically they have the same product. And what I'm talking about is this TGIN Miracle Repair X deep hydrating hair mask which looks like this and then also the og which is the honey miracle mask by tgin i'm basically counting them as the same product why because it's basically the same ingredients the only ingredients that are different is this one has black honey whereas the other um honey miracle mask has regular honey and this one has coconut oil whereas the original one does not have coconut oil but besides that they're the same product but either way whether you decide to pick up this one or the honey miracle mask it is bomb i know that it is a bit concerning to some people because it does have um some silicone in it yeah it has dimethicone but this uh the silicone in here is pretty low on the list of ingredients and it really doesn't bother me too much i feel like because typically sil silicones put like a film on your hair and make your hair feel really good when act in actuality it really didn't moisturize your hair but i definitely feel the moisture on my hair when i use this i feel like the moisture does penetrate into my strands the slip on this is out of this world. It is amazing. You can definitely detangle, finger detangle, comb detangle, brush detangle your hair with this. Absolutely amazing. All right, y'all, so that is it for my favorite conditioners and deep conditioners. And for those of you who are not protein sensitive, I'm going to actually have like my favorite protein conditioners and treatments in the video following this one. So make sure you stay tuned for that. As always, I will link all these products down below. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I will definitely be reading those and responding. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And as always, I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching. And until next time, I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!